any rate, uh, like I did in my first uh, and second COVID-19 vaccination shot, I'm about to get my booster shot and do it publicly. That's because the Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, looked at all the data, uh, completed their review, and determined the boosters for the Pfizer vaccine, others will come later, maybe, I assume, but the Pfizer vaccine are safe and effective. They've had all the data they need. And last week, they laid out who is eligible for those boosters for now. You're eligible for a booster if it's been six months since your second Pfizer shot, and if you fall into one of these categories, people over 65, which is hard to acknowledge, um, adults, I'm only joking, folks, adults with certain underlying health conditions like diabetes and obesity, and those who are at increased risk of COVID-19 because of where you work or where you live, like healthcare workers, teachers, first responders, grocery store clerks. If you fall into these categories, you're eligible for the booster. Now, I know it doesn't look like it, but I am over 65. I wish I <laughs> way over. And that's why I'm getting my booster shot today. The booster line uh, is uh, if you're fully vaccinated. The bottom line is that if you're fully vaccinated and you're highly protected now from severe illness, even if you get COVID-19. You're safe, and we're going to do everything we can to keep it that way with the boosters. But let me be clear. Boosters are important. But the most important thing we need to do is get more people vaccinated. The vast majority of Americans are doing the right thing. Over 77 percent of adults have gotten at least one shot. About 23 percent haven't gotten any shots. And that, uh, that distinct minority is causing an awful lot of us uh, uh, an awful lot of damage for the rest of the country. This is a pandemic of the unvaccinated. That's why I'm moving forward with vaccination requirements wherever I can. On Wednesday, I'll be traveling to Chicago to talk about why it's so important the more businesses are instituting their own vaccine requirements. We know that to beat this pandemic and to save lives, to keep our children safe, our schools open, our economy going, we need to get folks vaccinated. So please, please do the right thing. Please get the shots. And uh, it can save your life. It can save the lives of those around you. And it's easy, accessible, and it's free. So text your zip code to 438829. That's 438829. Or visit vaccines.gov to find a vaccination location near you. We can do this. Get vaccinated. Thank you very much. Now I'm going to get my booster shot and uh, right here. And the major is going to give me the shot. She's going to get one. Not that I think she's teaching that, but, she, but she's going to get one. Yes. Mr. President, what do you say to world health leaders, like, like the World Health Organization, who say, "Well, the nations should help more countries without vaccinations get vaccinated before they can boost here in America." We are helping. We're doing more than every other nation in the world combined. We're going to have well over a billion, one hundred million shots, and we're going to continue going. We're going to do our part. We've also given a great deal of funding to COVAX, which is the vehicle that does this. So we have plenty, plenty of opportunities to make sure we get everyone in the world to play our part, the largest part in the world, of getting everyone vaccinated. How many, how many Americans need to be vaccinated first to go back to normal? Like, what is the percentage of total vaccinations that have to be deployed? Well, I think, look, I think we get the vast majority, like it's going on in some of the 
some industries and some schools, 97, 98%. I think we're going awful close. And, uh, but I'm not the scientist. Uh, I think, but one thing for sure, a quarter of the country can't go unvaccinated and us not continue to have a problem. Any progress on a reconciliation deal today, Mr. President? How close do you think you are? You know me, I'm more an optimist. I think things are going to go well. I think we're going to get it done. And uh, but, uh, I have meetings uh, <clears throat> tonight, tomorrow, and uh, for the next little bit. So what is the state for your agenda and your presidency with what's happening on the campus? Victory is what's the state. Mr. President, how would you define success this week legislatively? How would you define success legislatively by the end of this week? Well, it may not be by the end of the week. I hope it's by the end of the week. But as long as we're still alive, as long as we got three things to do, the debt ceiling, the continued resolution, and the two-piece of legislation. If we do that, the country's going to be in great shape. Thank What's you. What's your message to Democrats as you have these calls? What's your message to Democrats, Mr. President?